What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. For this camera comparison we have the Samsung Galaxy S21 and the newly released Poco F3. Now I've done another camera comparison between the Poco F3 and the iPhone 12 but right after that video the Poco F3 got an update and I feel that after that update it does better for nighttime pictures so I figured I'll make another camera comparison so you can actually see how it does now after that um, update. Of course throughout this video we're gonna see a variety of daytime and nighttime pictures, sample videos um, and selfies of course. Just before we start make sure to press that like button and let's begin by checking out some nighttime pictures because that's where I feel that it does the best after that update. So both the Samsung Galaxy S21 and the Poco F3 support a night mode for the main camera and the ultra wide camera and of course the first pictures that you are seeing on the screen right now are taken with the main camera and that night mode. Compared to the previous software version that we had on the Poco F3 when I did the other comparison with the iPhone 12 I feel the Poco F3 has improved quite a lot. Now the pictures are much sharper and some of them are actually better than the pictures taken by the S21. Now overall if you look at all pictures I think that the, the majority of the pictures are still a bit better from the Samsung Galaxy S21 mostly because they are a bit sharper. But when compared to the previous software version that we had on the Poco F3 this is a major improvement in my opinion. So these are some pictures that I took with the main cameras and um, that um, night mode. Next we are moving on to some pictures that I took with the ultra wide cameras and of course a night mode and once again when compared to the pictures that I took um, before for the other camera comparison with the iPhone 12 before this um, software update the Poco F3 does do much much better. Now if you do look at the pictures side by side of course the Samsung Galaxy S21 does better in every single picture mostly because the pictures are a bit um, sharper. But we have to take into consideration the prices of these devices. The Samsung Galaxy S21 is almost double the price of the Poco F3. But overall I am pleased to see the improvements that we got um, for the Poco F3 after that software update. Next we are going to move on and check out some pictures that I took during the day with the Samsung Galaxy S21 and of course the Poco F3 and you are going to be surprised a lot of the pictures that um, I took look very similar in between these two devices even though that one is almost twice um, the price. Okay so we are starting with some portrait mode pictures. Now looking at my girlfriend's face in all these um, portrait pictures that I took well I think her face and the colors on her face look better from the Poco F3. The Samsung Galaxy S21 almost has a filter over her face so you can't exactly see anything on her face. Everything becomes kind of like a blur um, if I may say. So overall I'm gonna say that for portrait mode pictures um, the Poco F3 does a bit better. Well I guess it depends who you ask because some people may actually like those um, smoothing um, effects that the S21 puts over the subject. But for me personally I feel that for portrait mode pictures the F3 did um, a bit better. Moving on to some zoom pictures and here I've done 5 times zoom but keep in mind that the Samsung Galaxy S21 has a telephoto lens where the Poco F3 doesn't have a telephoto lens. So everything that um, you're taking, um, every picture that you're taking with the Poco F3 with a zoom uh, it's going to be digital zoom. So here clearly the Samsung Galaxy S21 does better in every single picture because most pictures are um, sharper. For pictures taken with the ultra wide cameras on the back of the two devices um, the first thing you'll notice of course is the fact that the Samsung Galaxy S21 has a somewhat wider field of view so you can see a bit more in those pictures when compared to the pictures taken by the Poco F3. Also dynamic range in most pictures taken by the Samsung Galaxy S21 is better but either than that the colors aren't that much different, the picture sharpness isn't that much different but overall yes the Samsung Galaxy S21 does seem to do a bit better for those pictures taken the ultra wide cameras. As for the pictures taken the main camera as well for some of these pictures I have to say that I was quite surprised to see how close the pictures look in between the ones taken by the S21 and the F3. Some of them even have pretty much identical colors. The picture sharpness is um, pretty much the same. So you can't really go wrong um, if you're taking pictures with the main cameras and during the day. Both devices do equally good. Now maybe the S21 does better for dynamic range in some of those pictures but not in all. And as I said um, a lot of these pictures are extremely close um, to each other. So I'll let you guys watch a few more pictures and I will be right back.
So what do you think about those daytime pictures? Do you prefer the pictures taken by the Poco F3 or the ones taken by the Galaxy S21? Definitely leave a comment and let us know. Next, we're going to move on and check out some sample videos. And of course, I have videos taken during the day and at night. And um, with the Poco F3, the maximum recording resolution for the main camera on the back is 4K at 30 frames per second. But if you are recording with the ultra wide camera, the maximum recording resolution for that is 1080p. The same goes for the front facing camera on the Poco F3. Where, of course, with the Galaxy S21, you can record at higher um, resolutions. So I'll let you guys watch those sample recordings and I will be right back. All right, we have a quick video test between the Samsung Galaxy S21 and the Poco F3. For this recording, I'm using the main cameras on the back of the two devices and recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. Now, this is the maximum resolution that you can record the Poco F3 with. The Samsung Galaxy S21 you can actually record at a higher um, resolution. So I'm gonna stop here and pan right slowly and then slowly back left. It's also a bit windy and you're probably gonna hear some traffic as well aside from my voice. And next I guess we're gonna run for a bit just so you can see how the image stabilization does um, while running. So yeah, this is our recording with the main camera on the back of the Poco F3 and the Samsung Galaxy S21 would look like under these conditions. We are moving on to another quick recording between the Samsung Galaxy S21 and of course the Poco F3. Now for this recording I'm using the ultra wide lenses on the back of the two devices and um, with the Samsung Galaxy S21 I'm recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. Where with the Poco F3 the maximum recording resolution for the ultra wide camera is only 1080p at 30 frames per second. So once again you will see a difference for um, the video quality. So I'm going to stop here for a bit to pan left slowly towards this tree basically and back right and we'll walk towards my car. So yeah, this is how a recording with the ultra wide cameras on the back of these two devices would look like. We are moving on to another quick recording between the Samsung Galaxy S21 and of course the Poco F3. Now for this recording I'm using the front facing cameras and the maximum recording resolution on the Galaxy S21 is 4K at 60 frames per second I believe where the maximum recording resolution for the front facing camera on the Poco F3 is 1080p. So you will definitely notice a difference in the video quality of course filmed with the front facing cameras. So yeah. This is how a recording done with the front facing cameras on these two devices um, would look like. I'm also going to walk a bit faster so you can see how the image stabilization looks while walking. So yeah, front facing cameras on the S21 and the Poco F3. Alright, we have a quick recording in low light between the Samsung Galaxy S21 and of course the Poco F3. For this recording I'm using the main cameras on the back of the two devices and recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. We're gonna walk this way where it gets a bit darker just so you can see how both devices do if it's dark. So I'm gonna stop here, we'll pan right slowly. And I can definitely see way more on the screen of the Samsung Galaxy S21. We'll pan left for a bit and we'll walk straight. So yeah, this is how a recording with the main cameras and 4K 30 frames per second between the F3 and the Samsung Galaxy S21 would look like at night. We are moving on to our second recording in low light between the Samsung Galaxy S21 and the Poco F3. For this recording I'm using the ultra wide lenses on the back of the two devices and once again recording in 4K 30 frames per second with the S21. But to the Poco F3 the maximum recording resolution if you are using the ultra wide lens is 1080p at 30 frames per second. So we are doing 1080p at 30 frames per second with that one. So yeah, this is how a recording in low light between these two devices would look like if you're using the ultra wide lenses on the back um, backs of the two devices.
And as you've seen for yourself, the Poco F3 does keep up with the Samsung Galaxy S21, mostly when you're recording with that main camera on the back and recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. So I can't really say that it has bad um, video quality, but overall, yes, um, the Galaxy S21 has um, the edge for video recordings, but let's remember um, the price difference. Okay, moving on to some selfies. Well, for daytime selfies, they both seem to do pretty good. I only took one selfie, unfortunately, during the day. I thought I took more, but I only had one. But for nighttime selfies, the Galaxy S21 does better um, in both um, situations, mostly because the Samsung Galaxy S21 has a nighttime mode for selfies, where the Poco F3 doesn't. So what do you guys think about the Poco F3 after the last um, update? Before, for the other camera comparison that I mentioned earlier um, with the iPhone 12, I didn't feel the Poco F3 did as good, but now I feel that it does much, much better. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, don't forget to press that like button, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching!